Hi folks. To the good folks in Japan who are engaged in the whaling industry, you're going to be foiled. Yay! <laughs> Your whaling days are numbered if they're not over. They most certainly are because there's a formidable group gathering to foil your next uh, whale hunt. Yeah! They really are, kids! And who is this group? This consortium of brilliant minds seeking to end the Japanese whale hunt? Why? We have that thespian from Hollywood, Daryl Hannah, who must somewhere in a repertoire of accomplishments have earned a degree in marine biology. Why, we have Greenpeace conspiring, along with Sea Shepherd and a notable company, a confectionery company. Yee! <laughs> this company, who produces these delicious Easter treats, peeps. This product is basically a marshmallow encrusted with sugar, made primarily of sugar. And here's the ingredients. I show the ingredients so I can tell you what they're going to do. This group is going to make a decoy to foil the uh, whale hunt come this June. And the decoy is going to be made. <laughs> the decoy is going to be made by peeps of peeps. It's going to be this a life size whale made of this product. And their thinking is that the Japanese are going to harpoon this instead, <laughs> instead of a real whale. Look at the article. And I have a link to that article in the description. But here's my question. Did they not think that when they have this large confectionery of marshmallow and sugar floating in the ocean that other whales may nibble at, at it and engage with those uh, ingredients? How about some other marine biology going to nibble at this? Will it not harm them? What would this cause to the ecosystem? What kind of... <laughs> What kind of <laughs> negative effects is this going to have upon the creatures that nibble at this thing? But you see, liberals don't care about this. And yes, why would not the whales nibble at this? They're stupid anyway. Oh, they're not stupid, so you say. Look. That to me looks like a stupid whale. <laughs> so you say, well, it's your U.S. Navy with sonar causing the whales to beach themselves. Really? So we had a U.S. Navy in the 15th century, the 16th century, 17th, 18th, and 19th century that was using sonar because I've read reports from those centuries of beached whales. What caused that? But I'll tell you what, you can blame the beached whales on sonar all you want. But what happens when they're teeter rotting off? <laughs> Because of this. <laughs> you just gotta love the stupidity of liberalism. Further proof that liberalism is a mental disorder. Alright folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be. <laughs> see ya. We are springing to the fall for 300,000 more. Shouting the battle cry of free. And we'll fill the vacant ranks of our brothers.